of when you think of sowing seeds? If you're like me, I think of money and giving it away. What if I told you that sowing seed has nothing to do with you giving away your money? Hey, Teresa Crawford here. I'm founder and producer of GodsMediaTV.com. I help ministers, pastors, evangelists, authors. I help them harness the power of the internet for preaching the Word of God, for promotion, and yes, for profits, equipping them to be part of God's media army with their ministry online. So we're talking about seed sowing. Love garden illustrations. My husband the other day, he uh, got a bunch of seed off his, what was those, bean plants. I think it was bean plants. And he's got seed ready for next season. So we see in the parables, it's in a couple different places, but the one that hit me real hard was Luke 8, verses 4 through 15. And first of all, it was clearly said the seed, as Jesus explains the parable, is the word of God. I thought, whoa, I always think of money and making sure it lands in fertile soil. The seed is the word of God. You carry the word of God in your ministry to your flock, to your audience. What's our responsibility? Jesus doesn't say, okay, the farmer sows his seed and he makes sure it lands on fertile soil. No, it doesn't even talk anything about the way the seed's sown. He just said, it's just flung high and low. He just sows the seed, right? What does it say in the Word of God? If we lift Jesus up, He, God, will draw all men to Himself. So our responsibility is to fling this seed far and wide, high and low. Yeah, some seeds might fall on Facebook and not everyone's going to like be receptive. But as we continue to lift Jesus up, that seed is going to find fertile soil. Soil that is looking for an answer, looking for someone to explain the madness and make some sense of it. That's you. You have a ministry. You have a calling. You have a vision. You know you do. You wouldn't be watching this video this far if you didn't. Let me encourage you with this little video to say, keep sowing the seed. Yes, learn different ways to harness the power of the internet. You know, with one video, you don't have to go to Pakistan. They're in Pakistan waiting to hear from you. With one video, you don't have to go to South Africa. They're in South Africa online waiting to read your blog post. If you're on the internet and just starting maybe a basic social plan, they may be on Facebook and begging you to come to Pakistan to preach to them or to India. I'm just thinking of Pakistan because we get hit a lot by Pakistan. They're waiting to hear from you. And so my challenge is to start now. And if you start, to continue and encourage you. And if you have to, learn new skills. Coming up gives you a chance to learn some new skills with video. If you like this video on the, the material and you want to learn more, simply go to the link below and we'll tell you more about equipping you to be part of God's media on.